Today we have a story on yoga. I'm Kylie. And I'm Cade. And you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. There is a meeting tonight to discuss the dangers of vaping from 6 to 8 p.m. here at the high school. The new, there are new math lab hours. Let's go to Emory to find out more. Hi, Vikes. I'm here with Mrs. Simino, and she's going to talk to us about the new math lab hours. So, what are they? The new math lab hours are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning from 7 to 7.35, and Tuesday, Thursday from 3.10 to 4.15. Uh, why did the hours change? We found that because of a thing, few things have changed, like CALP every day, that students are getting more work done in class, and they don't need the extra hours. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Just remember that there's going to be two teachers there every time, and it doesn't matter what class you're in. They can always help you. All right. Thanks, Ms. Simino. Now back to your anchors. Don't forget about the new hours. The athletic trainer needs their equipment back. Anything that was loaned out needs to be returned within the next week. The letter jacket man will be here next Tuesday in the Commons during lunch. If you have your letter, bring it with you. The fall play teaser for the Beverly Hillbillies is tomorrow. We will be on a morning assembly schedule. There will be study halls available. Please make sure you are parked in your assigned spot unless you have talked to Officer McKay about parking elsewhere. See Officer McKay to purchase a parking stall and avoid a potential fine. Now let's go to a break and then we'll head over to sports. Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. The Beverly Hillbillies. Come see the Beverly Hillbillies on November 16th. From 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the auditorium. Five dollars at the door. Better get a front row seat. What's up guys? It's your guy Elias Mosier here and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV Live Streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like, go touchdown bowl, man. Like, get a strike, my dude, in golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just Smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. Winter sports begin Monday, Monday November 18th. You must have your physical and concussion form on file before you can try out slash practice. If you didn't know, it's freezing outside. Let's go to Josh to see if the weather gets any better. That's right, Cade. We got off to a very cold start this morning with our low temperature of just 9 degrees. And even the slightest bit of wind produced wind chills down to 0 degrees for several hours in a row so again a very cold start this morning and really the rest of today is going to be quite cold but taking a look at the past month as a whole it's just been very dry in addition to cold we have only received not even a half inch of measurable precipitation including melted down snow over the past month so yeah it has been dry but on the flip side of that it has been rather snowy at this time of the year. We've already received nearly two inches, and while that is less than what we had by this time last year, it's still more than average, so a bit of a snowy stretch over the past few weeks as well. Today, the big story, no rain, no snow, but we do have those freezing temperatures maybe breaking to near or just above freezing by around 3 o'clock when we but then temperatures crash back down into the low to mid 20s tonight still not nearly as cold as this morning was but it is definitely going to be a chilly start to your Wednesday and taking a look at the seven day forecast 
check this weather pattern out. We go from 32 today, 46 tomorrow. Another weak cold front knocks us down to the low 40s as we head toward Thursdays. And then mild weather continues Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday as highs jump back into the 50s with dry weather. Now, back to your anchors. Ms. Schaefer recently used yoga to teach her students about transcendentalism. Let's go check it out. Recently at Seaman High School, yoga was introduced to a couple classes. Ms. Schaefer had come to me asking if I would like to teach class because they were studying transcendentalism, which is a form of meditation, a form of one with nature, been recently getting into yoga and I thought that to substitute for that we could go um, do some yoga to kind of try and find our center because in transcendentalism which is what we're studying right now they encourage you to think about who you truly are and um, yoga has been said to elicit those deep thoughts within yourself and so I thought it could be fun activity. Many students liked yoga and said they had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Lots of different reactions. Some kids loved it. Some kids hated it. Some kids didn't participate very well. And some kids went all out. It was a great time. Not every class gets a chance to do this yoga, though. I did it for all my junior classes because each junior class went through Transcendentalism this year and I thought that it would be fun whether, whether it was regular or honors to be able to do yoga and just see what happens. Ms. Schaefer really enjoyed yoga and what it did for her class and she plans on doing it next year. I wish I could have learned about yoga in my class. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we'll have a story on the fall play. Have a great day, Vikes. Thank you.